Hey, what's up guys? Mr. Free Coiner coming back to you again today. I hope everybody's doing well and you are taking care of yourselves. Of course, I must say that I'm not a financial analyst. I'm simply sharing my thoughts and opinions. So please don't take anything I say as financial advice. Now, um, I know it's a bit early, but hey, just bear with me. Uh, the uh, <laughs> XRP is sitting at uh, roughly about 43 cents. You know, hadn't done a whole lot. Despite uh, everything that's going on with uh, with MoneyGram and all of that, I mean, you guys know know the drill already. It's uh, it's just not going to move yet. There's there's something they're waiting on, um, and uh, it could very well be regulation. I mean, we just don't know. But I do have a feeling that we're going to see some movement very soon, um, and that's uh, really kind of what they're going to. In this article, Ripple Effect, MoneyGram stock continues to soar. When will, when will XRP price follow? Um, now, what I'm going to go to is directly to, uh, yeah, here, Ken Tankering, uh, I'm sorry, Cantering Clark. All right. He says, I do not think the current price is fully reflective of the news being completely digested. Makes sense. Uh, markets often underreact as people are initially anchored and info is not completely disseminated. This setup is worth taking. I think we see XRP cover ground in the next two months. And that's, I, you know, I completely agree with that. I think uh, part of the problem is, is that um, just so many people who are not, I mean, so many people are not plugged into what's going on. And then you have uh, more retail investors out there, just, you know, your everyday Joe, who uh, they have no clue what's going on with the crypto market, much less XRP. So I, I think I, I totally agree. It's going to sink in. It's just going to take a little while for uh, this the information to get dispersed, for everybody to start understanding what's actually happening and learn about XRP. Because um, somebody had mentioned they can't wait to see uh, runs on Ripple at money, you know, in MoneyGram. But guys, that is definitely going to happen. Uh, depending on how fast uh, MoneyGram is willing to implement XRP and, and RippleNet, um, I mean, we could start seeing advertisements or, uh, you know, notifications at the kiosks and at the desks or whatever, uh, the counters uh, saying that they are utilizing Ripple technology, which uh, increases, you know, speed, lowers costs, all that stuff. Because, you know, of course, those things are selling points for people to use the product. Um, so, yeah, I totally agree with that. Um, now, I do want to go over, there's a couple things. I want to go through this kind of quickly. Uh, so one thing that I had uh, come across here was about, uh, so basically, I'll just read this. Bitcoin falls near 9,000 as U.S. stock market sees gains. So um, the other day, and I cannot for the life of me find this article, but uh, it had mentioned that this, the, the uh, decline of the stock market was vastly overstated. Okay, something to that effect. Now, uh, one thing that I had seen some months ago was that towards the end of, uh, you know, or right up to the point where the stock market sees a huge decline, we were going to get this like a, a, a very nice bump up in the stock market, which is exactly what we're seeing right now. Um, and I'll go to another article um, where someone who is very uh, well versed in the stock arena, <clears throat> he kind of says the same thing. But anyway, uh, when we see the stock market go up, essentially, I mean, it, it's it's always kind of an inverse uh, for crypto. You know, it, it crypto goes down while the stock market goes up and vice versa. This is, you know, from what I've seen in the past. Now, um, uh, I I mean, I think we're right there at the at that point. Uh, some of the information I have received uh, was related to the stock market declining or having a heavy decline. Uh, right before or around the time uh, we start to see crypto really skyrocket. So, guys, I, I think we're right there at that point. Uh, again, I mean, I could be totally wrong. And hey, this is, I never, I, I've never claimed that this is my profession. I just use simply intuition uh, or uh, what I call my gut. Uh, and also, some, some of you guys, you know, making comments about, making really making very rude comments about me making predictions first of all let me let me explain something to you i have every right to make whatever prediction i want 
so do you. I do demand that just remain respectful. If you ha if you disagree, I got no problem with that. I want to hear that. I want to I want to see what you have to say about it. Disagree. That's fine. But you're going to do it respectfully, okay? That's just the one thing that I I stand on right there because I don't disrespect anyone uh nor do I uh uh accept anyone else being disrespectful. Okay, now moving on to uh this is Leon Cooperman. Okay. Now Leon is uh Let's see, uh, yeah, Leon Cooperman warns that a stock market rally could be the closeout move. Okay, so yeah, basically a rally and then a huge drop off or an end to the bull run that's happening in the stock market. Um, and like I said, again, according to the information that I got, this is expected, which this is actually going to trigger a uh, a huge bull run for uh you know in the crypto market or the crypto space so um you know it, hey you can't have good without bad that's just a fact it's just absolutely a, a fact so anyway if you guys want to check out that article uh, i'm not going to read it or anything like that but if you want to check it out please do so all right uh let me see where do i want to go from here <clears throat> i'll just go ahead and go here okay so we have the CEO of Western Union who has done a complete about face in this article. Uh, so he was being very uh, standoffish and, and, you know, really saying some kind of <laughs> kind of off the wall stuff uh, as it relates to Ripple and whatnot. Um, but now, hey, things have changed. Now, as I'm watching this video here, OK. Uh, let me see. I was I kind of took took some notes, but essentially, um, so the deal is is that he's a smart guy. Now, initially, I thought I was really kind of going on along the lines that you know he always had every intention of of going with with uh, Ripple, but he didn't want to be the first one, and uh, you know or. Maybe he just didn't have the nod or the, the approval to do so. But either way, what has happened with MoneyGram, I believe scared him. Because his comment, you know, he's, he knows that his decision previously to kind of push Ripple to the side was based on the fact that they are making huge profits off of their customers, which is, I mean, I mean, I mean they're, they're basically robbing people. And that's just throughout the financial industry. It's happening every day. And we all know that. Now, I think he realizes or he knows why he decided to do what he did with Ripple. But now with MoneyGram partnering, partnering with Ripple, he also knows that their market share is in is in huge danger. You know, so, you know, him saying, hey, you know, I'm open to cost savings and all that. Well, he wasn't saying that a few months ago. You know, now he's he's now it's all good. And then he kind of gives a little chuckle. Well, he's nervous. I mean, it's pretty evident that he knows what's about to happen. He knows that if he knows how good Ripple is, that that whole product, everything going on. He knows that once uh, uh, MoneyGram gets up and running with RippleNet and then the connections, which the uh, the CEO of MoneyGram even mentioned that that network effect being able to access and 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 uh, deal with other customers that are part of RippleNet it is huge it is huge I mean look we all know two heads are better than, than one and when you have multiple heads dealing with the same thing hey it just makes everything very very different guys and I'm telling you I would not be uh, I would not be surprised. I would not be surprised if we see uh, Western Union also partner with Ripple here in the very, very near future. I, I'm just, you know, mark my words. I know it's going to happen. I mean, pretty obvious, but uh, I'm saying very, very soon. OK, so um, let's see. You know, what? I think that's that's all I'm going to put in this. Uh, I don't want to make this video too long. 
But guys, a lot of exciting, very wonderful things are happening. And I can tell you right now, look, XRP is not going to stay at 40 cents forever. It, it won't be a matter of years. Don't let anybody, you know, anyone saying that crap is an absolute idiot. We, you don't have the type of movement. And this is actual movement. This isn't just talking. This is movement. These are things that are happening. These are, these are actual partnerships that are going on on a on damn near daily basis. So we know that, uh, even David Schwartz said a long time ago, XRP has to increase in price to remain liquid. It has to. Okay. I mean, when you look at the amount of XRP that's actually in circulation, that's available. Okay, which is around 42 billion. Only a small part of that is actually available to be traded because we're holding on to a large portion of it. And then you have other institutions holding on to it. So what's out there available? There isn't much. I mean, it's hard to tell uh, exactly how much, but again, it's not much. Okay, so that's all I have for you guys today. I hope everybody is taking care of yourselves. Make sure you keep your eyes on this market and, you know, don't let the, the people out there throwing that FUD, don't let them get to you. Just stay strong where you are, stay on your, stay in your track and just keep on rolling. Something is coming very soon, guys. Very, very soon. So, um, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I want you on board so you can, you know, hang out with us, provide your comments, whatever. Uh, just, you know, be involved. I, I want you here. Uh, got a lot of other projects that I'm trying to do. So, hey, definitely look for me. Also, hit the like button on this video and any other videos of mine that you have watched, if you think it deserves it. And uh, also hit that post notification button so you are notified when I post again. Guys, until next time, this has been Mr. Free Coiner. Take care of yourselves and God bless.